Dear students, in the previous video, we have discussed decoders. We know we have 2 to 4 decoders, 3 to 8 decoders, or 4 to 10 decoders, uh, like that. So, the relation between this inputs and the outputs are n inputs to power n outputs. If there are 2 inputs, 4 outputs. If there are 3 inputs, 8 outputs. If there are 4 inputs, 16 outputs. But I also told 4 to 10 decoder. When you are using this 4 to 10 decoder, when you are converting the binary to BCD, sorry, BCD to decimal. So, BCD inputs will be having 0 to 9. In order to represent 9, we need 4 inputs. So, BCD to decimal will be having only 10 discrete states in that. So, and all the remaining states will be uh, don't cares. That is how we can able to implement 4 to 10 decoder as well. So, if it is a 2 inputs, that will be decoded into 4 discrete states or 4 different outputs what we can say, right? So, now we will just look into that 4 to 10 decoder and then we will move on to the encoders. This is the circuit of the 4 to 10 decoders. 4 inputs A, B, C, D and we have 10 outputs 0 to 9. Suppose my input is 1, 0, 0, 1 means it is 9. So, this output will be high. You can just have a look into this because this has been written with the circuit representation. Earlier what we have discussed is the block diagram or we have not disclosed the contents inside that. But here it has been implemented with the basic gates. So, this A is there. So, it is high and then D is there. Even this is high. And then we have this B and C. If you look into this, the complementary output of B, complementary output of C has been connected. So, that is how you are going to realize for the output 9. So, A, B, A and D directly been connected. B and C, the complementary has been connected. So, for example, if it is 5, so 1, 0, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, 0 A bar will be connected to this. So, we can just check out here. A bar has been connected to this. 1. So, B directly should be connected to this. Yes. C bar to be connected to this. Yes. And then D directly to be connected to this. That is how we are going to do the connections for any of the outputs. So, based on what input we are doing. What if it is 1010? 1010 is a don't care. We don't uh, bother whatever the output we are going to get across this for the state 1010. Any states after 10 and after that are an not a valid states when it is converting binary, sorry, BCD to decimal. Realizing this 4 to 10 decoder using the IC 7442. So, whenever we are implementing some uh, IC, sorry, whenever we are implementing some circuit using IC, we need to know the features of the IC. So, these are the 4 inputs A to D. These are the outputs. So, if you look into these outputs, these are active low outputs. So, low input has been extracted out of this. 7442. When you are getting a low output, how we need to draw the connections? We have discussed in our previous video. If it is a high output, directly we provide those inputs based on the function whatever has been asked to realize, give it to the R gate. Since it is active low outputs, we can't use an R, we can use the bubbled R. Bubbled R is nothing but an NAND gate. So, here is the truth table for this 7442 when A, B, C, e, D are like 0 to triple 4 zeros to 4 ones, all 16 combinations. And we know in this 
ABCD means 0 to 9 are the valid states. So, so 0 to 9 will be focusing. Rest all, it's a don't care. It can be anything. So, it's been written with all ones here. It can be any value. And now, uh, all these are active low. So, if I want to get 9 means I will be getting 0 in place of this, 1 in place of all this. That is how it will be. So, if you just observe here, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1 in all these locations, 0 in only in place of 9. What if it is uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, like 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. Only in place of 6, it is 0. Rest all, it is 1. 0, 1, 1, 0. Only in place of 6, it is 0. And rest all, it is 1. That is how we are going to write the truth table for this 7442. What if in the exam it's been asked uh, to realize some functions using the IC7442? The features of the IC are active low outputs. Then uh, in the last class, whatever we have discussed, we need to follow the same format here. If the problem has been given F1 of ABCD, M1, M2, M4. So using this IC7410 decoder, M1, sorry, yeah, M1, this is M0, right? This is M1. M1, M2, M4 to be connected to the bubbled R or it's nothing but a NAND gate. So, bubbled R or NAND both are same. We can't get the circuit, for, sorry, uh, I see for bubbled R, so we are going to do it with NAND gates. So, this is the second function M4, M7, M9. Connect M4, M7 and M9 to that. So, in this way we can able to realize any Boolean expression given using decoder. And also we have discussed in the previous few videos, any Boolean expression given can be realized using multiplexer. And also with a demultiplexer. We know multiplexer and demultiplexer are opposite to each other decoder and demultiplexer have more similarity what is the similarity here is uh, or i can call it as what is the difference between multiple demultiplexer and decoder demultiplexer one input multiple output decoder many to many many inputs many outputs so n inputs to power n outputs and when, when I want to make, write the difference in the decoder, sorry, demultiplexer, we have a data input. Decoder, we don't have a data input. These are the difference between decoder and demultiplexer. When I want to look into the similarity, the realizing of any of the Boolean expressions with a decoder or with a demultiplexer, it is similar. And very important similarity between this decoder and demultiplexer, the ICs which we are using to realize this decoder, the same IC will be used to realize the demultiplexer as well. 74138, uh, 138 one, one, decoder or 7442. This is like active low outputs. Even 74138 is an active low outputs so using these uh, two ICs we can able to realize either uh, 3 to 8 decoder here it is 4 to 10 decoder uh, there it can be of 1 to 16 here in this case 1 to 16 demultiplexer 4 to sorry 3 to 1 to 8 Demultiplexer. That is how it will be. And now we quickly work with the virtual labs for the decoder. As we already know, uh, when when my input is something like one one zero, I, uh, Q six will be select. Or Q, uh, I'll be getting Q six. That is, the output is six. That's what the meaning here. If it is zero one zero, then it is Q two. Yes, this is how you can, this decoder will work. Now we will look into the encoder. So when I want to work with the encoder, it is opposite to the decoder. So the decoder, n inputs to power n outputs. Encoder, to power n inputs, 
n outputs so this is how it works so when i want to work with an encoder suppose if it is i6 sorry d6 then my output will be 110 that is what i'm going to get what if it is d2 and d6 then it depends on what type of encoder this is whether this is a priority encoder or this is a normal encoder so since it is a priority encoder i am getting 6 here if it was a normal sorry yeah uh, if there is all the inputs are zero and only this is high only this will so in the encoders we have only one type of encoder that is priority encoder based on whichever is having the highest value that will be displayed but if this also i then i'll be getting all ones this is what the working of an encoder this is the block diagram of 8 to 3 decoder 8 to 3 priority encoder so these are the eight inputs y0 to y7 these three are the outputs a b c d is another output so this output will be always high whenever if any of the input is high if none of the input is high then d output will be zero this has been used to just to identify is there any input is flowing into the encoder so in the first case if all the inputs are zero then our d is zero of course this abc will also be zero when y naught bit is one and all the remaining are zero then our d is one our abc is zero 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 and we are going to get the main terms across this based on the which input or else i can call it as binary representation of any given decimal input i can call it so here if it is y1 is 1 then all the remaining will be 0 so here it is c is 1 all the remaining is 0 d will be 1 so you might have observed here it's been written as an x x the meaning of x is either this input can be 0 or can be 1 it does not matter in defining this truth table so that's the reason it's been written x to the left side of the uh, inputs because these inputs can be either 0 or 1 since we are doing a priority encoder whichever is the highest value that output we are going to get in case uh, as i've shown in the demonstration if y1 is 1 y3 is 1 and y5 is 1 then i'll be getting here is y5 that is 5 0 1 0 sorry since it is three inputs sorry three outputs 1 0 1 will be the output that is how it will work with the priority encoder yeah, with this i'll wind up this video thank you